Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm going to be reviewing a rather low budget feature from the past. Which is something I usually do anyway. So here we go. Okay, this film is a television made movie, so it's the one titled Second Sight, a love story. Oh so, yeah, one of them lovey-dovey type stories. Not exactly my cup of tea, really, but I'm going to review it anyway. Because the thing is that it's been on my damn to-do list for quite some time. I know this technically is a notebook, but I'm calling my to-do list anyway because, well, let's just say that I do have an ass load of movies that I got, I got to review. So here we go. So anyway, Second Sight Love Story is this television film, folks. That's been based on a book. And I don't know how faithful it is to the story because I've not read it really. But anyway, let's just get into the plot of this movie, shall we? So here we go. There's this self proclaim kind of a stubborn, independent, blind woman. And let's just say that she is someone who has been blind for 20 years. Finally agrees to get this blind dog. She is worried that people will get too close to her, cut her, uh, just out of pity. So, yeah, that's a thing. And of course, she, she tries to desolate herself as a result on an emotional level from basically everyone. But of course, as you can guess yourself, but becomes attached to who oh, I, this is, a, let's just say, another individual. Let's just say she does meet up with this, um, this Richard type of, this Richard individual. And let's just say the story just continues to thicken as it continues. And yeah, that's the kind of a story dealing with this kind of movie, folks. Yep. And that's the thing. This Richard individual does enter her life. And you can say a romance definitely Delaps and arises that will probably restore a faith kind of a thing in her. And will this actually work out? Will this actually happen, of course? But anyway, I would say that this film is one of those kind of movies that I would recommend if you're into the horror romantic stuff. But honestly, in some ways, I can say that it just does drown out a little bit. In some areas of the story, it does feel padded, which I would say that's true. But overall, I can say that I can say that this movie could have been cut down by I don't know a few a few minutes, I guess, uh, without hurting much of the story at all. But I'm just saying that just in some ways it does feel a little too long for what it's worth. But it's it's pretty predictable in some ways. It's somewhat predictable, which it is. So yeah, the main character is a blind woman. And I have not reviewed that movies that often that has a blind woman as the main character. So that's something I guess. And I can say that it's a pretty solid movie. I mean, like I said before, um, yeah, it's not really my cup of movie, cup of tea. Really, these type of movies are not my cup of tea. I, I didn't hate it. That's for damn sure. I, I did not hate this movie, folks. Well, like I said, it's it's a treatment in a way. I guess it does have a pretty nice story. For what it's worth, even though it is pretty predictable and it's pretty slow at times. Yes. It does have a nice story of a blind lady 
who wants to remain independent and confident in her life. She is pretty content for what she has until she falls in love. Which, of course, you don't know what's going to happen. The title of the film does give it away. The guide dog who becomes a companion and yet her friend has blended so well with this movie and whatnot with these characters, of course. And I can definitely agree on the fact that this does have some pretty nice acting. The acting here is pretty solid, really. I didn't think the acting was too bad. I mean, like I said a moment ago, this was made for a television release. So, when it comes to acting, I was not expecting a whole lot, really. But, I can say it wasn't too bad. No, that, for it's worth, I've seen, I've seen worse acting in, in movies that were released theatrically, so... There's that. I mean, I'm not going to say that acting in this film was any Oscar worthy, really. But, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. It's serviceable, I guess. And as for the music, the music is pretty cheesy, but I can't complain too much, really. When it comes to music, when it comes to like lovey dovey movies, of course the music is going to be a bit cheesy. So, that's ex expected. So, I'm not really complaining about it. Really, when it comes to that, in that regard, no. But, I would say, I give, give it a shot anyway, folks. Give it a try. Yeah. And I will give this film an overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. It's just 6.8 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya, oh yeah.